opportunity lies several steps ahead of your opponent. Cyberpunk 2077 is boasting the inclusion of everyone's favourite action movie friend Keanu Reeves, but it isn't the only game that'll be featuring his likeness. John Wick Hex from esteemed developer boy Mike Bithell is currently in the works too. RPS deputy editor Alice Bell got to give it a go at Gamescom last week, so for her official debut on the channel, I sat down with her and we talked about whether John Wick Hex is a good John Wick game. But first, thanks to Logitech G and the G432 7.1 surround sound gaming headset for sponsoring this video. To check out the tech behind the G432, click the link in the description. So Alice. Yes, hello. Uh, John Wick Hex is mm. a video game that exists now. It's, as I understand it, yeah. Uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, a video game uh, based on the hit movie franchise John Wick. It is. It's actually a prequel. So it's set before he leaves the assassining, there he is, there, look at him. Uh, so this is before he gets married and this is sort of part of his journey to becoming the, the Baba Yaga, the kind of boogeyman character that he is in the first film. Has um, he got his dog yet? No, no dog. As far as I'm aware, no dog. Um, so as you can see, it is rather than a, a shooter, which I assumed it would be, Mm. Um, or that a John Wick game would be. It's sort of a kind of frozen synapse, kind of um, almost like frozen synapse meets super hot, maybe. There's a bit of like, x commy sort of stuff yeah. in it. Like it's got cover and half cover and things. Um, but it's all hexy. It Hence is. The name. Well, yeah, so it's all, you move in, uh, uh, Hex is, is a bad guy in it, I believe. But um, Mike Bithell, who is. Uh, the lead and a known fan of shapes. A known fan of shapes. He said it's called it's called hex, and also you can see he moves in hexagons. And he was like, "That's my little nerdy joke." Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> okay, cool. So it's not a shooter, which no. is very interesting. Mm. But uh, I've seen a lot of people argue on the internet that uh, perhaps for a John Wick game, where everything that mm. Mr. John Wick himself does is so precise and and meticulous and and planned out in his head that this perhaps works better as a as mm. a faithful adaptation of of the Jonathan Wick franchise. I agree because I think if you just did a, an FPS or indeed a third person shooter it would just be a bit unimaginative and boring and, and also like you pe generally people aren't John Wick. Yeah. So I should imagine that if it was a shooter, you'd just be like flapping your arms about and being all terrible. Yeah. Well, and it that's wouldn't the feel thing. cool. Yeah. So this allows you to be a bit more controlled with it. Um, you can pick what you do next and choose all, all your movements. You can see, so you move into cover behind the car. And then when you see a baddie, uh, it will pause. So I think in a minute, probably you'll see a, someone will appear. And then you have to get to the, that Assassin's Creed logo. It's the end of level. Yeah. So, what different approaches can you take? Like, obviously, there's you, you can you can shoot the bad men and all that. Mm. Um, is there? Can you can you take a stealthy approach? I suppose it's sort of. Well, I mean, it's all the same approach almost. It's because it's kind of a bit. I don't think you can do stealth, but it, it, it's sort of tactical. So okay. it's just kind of all about, like we said, sort of trying to feel like John Wick, and so you can do. Um, you can throw your gun when you're out of bullets. So That's you can cool. seal on the bottom there, you've got um, your ammo and you can reload, but reloading takes time. And also if you reload while you've still got bullets in the chamber, you lose those bullets. Uh, you... for, a, for a little bit of uh, cheeky realism there. Yeah, 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 you've got your health, which is your health. Uh, and then focus, which is what you use to do like cool things, basically. It's kind of like, kind of like John Wick's mana bar. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, and so like you can uh, yeah throw your gun, people, which is f fun. But, and I was doing it a lot, but it's not always the best uh, thing to do because then you don't have a gun. Well, but um, like you, just, you see that yeah. he, he just uh, he healed himself, and that takes a little bit of time. So it's oh, all yeah, tactical, okay. and like you can't just start healing. So pause there because this guy. Uh, Shoot came on. Man, there we you shoot go, the bad lovely. man. Um, and uh, you can see across the top, it's scrolling, and it shows you. It will show how long it will take to move somewhere in seconds and microseconds. And so then it's really just a time management sim. Yeah. With guns. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> Keanu Reeves. And Keanu Reeves. Um, and you know you have probability of shooting and stuff, and you can see the other person, like your enemy's actions as well. Oh so yeah. So you okay. can see 
if you try and punch them, will they be able to get their shot off first kind of thing? What they're right, that's interesting. all the options. So you can, yeah, in terms of tactics, there's not stealth, but you can maybe choose to be a more melee focused John. Just if you want to get in close and like people. punching people, yeah. you can do takedowns, which you just did there. And so with the takedown, you, um, you have to decide where you want John Wick to end up standing. Um, at the end and things like okay. that. So, so um, going back to the bottom of the screen, there's mm. this button that occasionally is popping up and uh, is being clicked on every now and then. Mm. You can change stance, and I'm oh, just yeah. curious about what that is. So basically, you can stand up, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, so then you can, when you're standing, you can um, move uh, in sort of any, onto any of the little pixels. Um, uh, but when you can also crouch, mm. uh, and so when you're crouched. Um, you, I think your accuracy goes up, but you're harder to shoot. But also, but you can only move by rolling in a straight line. Um, so you're just in, rolling about the place like yeah. in Dark Souls. Um, so it's another way of looking quite cool. Um, but uh, it uses up more focus as well. And you can get focus back uh, by clicking the kind of refocus button. And then he does like a little, a little head shake. Just meditates a little, like, for a bit. Like a woo, yeah. shake it off kind oh. of. <laughs> Yeah. Get in the zone, kind of thing. Those those those, those luscious Keanu Reeves locks will flop about for mm. a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, awesome. So it does. There are lots of actually lots of little tactical things going on behind the scenes to do with like probability and and all that kind of jazz. Um, and so I think that yeah. So they changed his stance there. So when he was crouched, he could only move in those straight lines. Yeah. Um, now we can sort of zigzag about. Yeah. Uh, they've got the so they've gone for a rather than like a realist kind of photorealistic Keanu Reeves yeah uh, and it's a bit it's a bit more of a cartoony yeah and exaggerated I, proportion sort of thing I think that works um, just because it's like sort of its own thing and it's not you know uh, trying too hard to it's not gonna age terribly in yeah exactly time, exactly yeah. but there are people in it so they've recorded uh, audio with um, Oh, the, the what's his name? What's his name? The Alice? man, the man who did the thing. Ian McShane. Eh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we go. Ian McShane. Ian McShane, who is the uh, he's the owner of the Continental, so he's going to be in it in some way. That's um, fun. Uh, I don't know about many other people, but I what my Biffle kept. They've worked quite closely with the team, I think, to sort of make sure they're not making up and John Wick things. Yeah. For the story and it, stuff, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a faithful John Wick adaptation. Yeah, J uh, cool. Mike Kevko, the director, his, his name's Chad. I want to, it's, it's like Stahelski, I think. But sorry if that's wrong. But Mike Bithell kept saying, "Yeah, oh, oh, I, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> talking to Chad." A lot. So I was like, "Your friend Chad, your best mate Chad." Your best mate Chad. But they have <laughs> jokes aside. They've been working with the team uh, <laughs> to get the kind of um, yeah the. Okay, so that that it it seems it's quite a collaborative experience with the people who made John Wick what it is. Yeah, yeah, they like went over and like trained with the stunt team and stuff. I oh, think wow. as well to learn how to this is how John Wick fights sort of thing. So it's meant to be like you know this is the process that goes on in John Wick's head, I guess. Um, it's cool. Yeah, it's like um, it's it's almost like you'd imagine that this is what John Wick's mind palace looks like. Exactly, yeah. It's the John Wick mind palace. Yeah. And it does, um, there, so there is a story and it goes through, like, each level is sort of um, a series of little, kind of these little vignettes culminating in, you know, sort of almost a boss fight. Okay. So we're looking at one of those boss fights now. Yeah, so it's, they're all, like, you know, you'll still have the little minions to deal with as well. Um, but this is, you can see it's a little bit more challenging because it's, it's multi-level, so you can't see um, the, the, the whole area. Oh, yeah, okay, that, yeah. Um, and this, they've got windows that you go past that they can shoot you through as well, but obviously you can shoot through them as well. So are the boss, are the boss stages, is there, like, is there a, a bigger bad man who has more health and is more yeah, challenging? Yeah, basically, But yeah. also, generally, it's a bit more tricky a run. Yeah, okay. that's that's the idea. So that guy's popped out oh, of yeah, that look at him. door there. He's ambushed you. There are a few ambush moments. So you get that. Um, that guy was a melee guy. So he's not really... You don't have to worry about him until he gets close to you. Cool. But then you have the... So you can prioritise your targets as, mm. you, as you're playing the game. Yeah, basically. Awesome. So 
You're doing a lot of really cool stuff yeah. as Mr. John Wick in mm. John Wick Hex, the video game. Can you, Alice Bell, can you, uh, once you've done the thing, you've done it all, you, you did a great job, can you play it all back and watch it all and see what a fantastic murdering thing that you did? I mean, allegedly, yes. Oh, allegedly. <laughs> Well, so Mike said we can definitely do that. That's going to happen. So basically, that is going to be a feature of the game. Okay, cool. And he was like, we're def- we're doing that in the office, and it's really cool, I but promise. But no, nobody's allowed to see it yet. But it's not quite ready to to be shown yet. That's fair. And it is, we should say as well uh, that this is obviously not final game footage, so they're still tweaking some balance things and stuff like that. Um, yeah, like then the John Wick is just not actually going to be in it. It's it, it's it's all over. It's going to be it's it, it's going to be like Metal Gear Solid Two, where they just replace him with some random man. Imagine. 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 For clarity's sake, that wasn't real. That wasn't a real thing. <laughs> that's true. Um, <laughs> so, do we know when uh, John Wick's Hex, the video game, is coming out? Uh, we do. I can't remember. Oh, damn. So you fix okay. this in post. I will fix this in post. Um, say it's coming out on, and then I'll, like, put it in. Do an impression of me, okay. Uh, yeah, so it's coming out on... Still to be announced. Cool, yep. Yeah. Wh- yeah. wh- whatever date was just was just added in post. Yeah. Um, Fantastic. Do we know? Do we know if it's if it's it, it's going to be? Is it going to be a Steam boy? Is it going to be an Epic Game Store boy? Uh, I don't think they've. To, I mean, we'll assume it's a Steam boy yeah. unless they say it's an Epic Game boy. I don't think they've decided yet or disclosed that yet. Cool, um, okay. But I I enjoyed it. I think it is a so far from what we've seen it is a solid and uh, competent and very, actually very accessible. Mm. Um, kind of strategy, little strategy thing, and it's. I think it'll be really good for because it's it's got the John Wick name on it, so those yeah. people will be like, I like John Wick, and then and it might introduce a, a whole bunch of people to a new kind of game. Yeah, or yeah. even games at all. Um, yeah. So I think it's maybe if you're like well into like the hardcore like u- ultra dead mode XCOM, you won't find it as as much of a challenge. But if you're but, like uh, a Keanu Reeves stan and yeah. you own the John Wick box set and you just appreciate you know what solidly well made yeah. game now is it would you say Alice Bell a good John Wick game yes I think so yeah because cause like the obvious thing like we said is to just make a first person shooter and actually I don't think that works for John Wick because John Wick isn't a standard action film so yeah you, you know you can't have a standard action game for it absolutely so i think this is a valid interpretation although i would personally have preferred a hotel management game where you manage the continental but maybe I'll, that can be the sequel yeah right <laughs> yeah maybe like we got john wick's hex now we're gonna have john wick's continental and and it will be like you've got you've got to like do do the stuff in there i've seen john wick <laughs> Look, I've seen bits of John Wick, right? It's really good. But it is, it is. Like, like I, st- I need to sit down and actually watch it. I just, I'm so busy all the time. Um, but I'm definitely going to play John Wick Hex. Um, sure. Maybe, maybe if I play this and then watch the films, it'll be like a chronological thing. You could you actually know? do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. That's what I'll do then. Thanks so much for chatting to me about John Wick Hex, the video game featuring Keanu Reeves as John Wick. Thank you for having me. I think yeah. this might be my debut on the channel. Actually. Yeah, no, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, welcome. It's Bye. Right. Bye. <laughs> Thanks again to Logitech G and the G432 7.1 surround sound gaming headset for sponsoring this video. Featuring 50mm audio drivers, a 6mm mic, and DTS Headphone X 2.0 surround sound technology under the hood, the G432 headset immerses you in the action and ensures you'll always be heard for a complete gaming experience. Find out how to order yours by following the link in the description. From what we've seen so far, do you think John Wick Hex is going to be worthy of the Baba Yaga himself? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this little impressions chit chat, why not like the video and subscribe to Rock Paper Shotgun to see more videos like it. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you again soon.